everybody, how's it going? I have got me some uh, sparkling ice. I don't know if you guys have ever had this or seen this before. Kiwi strawberry sparkling ice. Actually made by the same people who do um, Talking Rain, which is absolutely horrendous and disgusting. But this stuff is delicious. If you ever see this, get it. It's freaking amazing. Um, anyways, I'm coming at you here again with another Blu-ray update. This time, probably something I shouldn't have blown a huge wad on. You know, it's like, I really feel like I should, shouldn't have wasted all this. Money. It's not a waste. It's just, it was $40 for two Blu-rays, which is really hard for me to do. You know, it's really hard for me to plunk down $40 for two Blu-rays. But in my defense... They're both Disney Blu-rays. And there was a pretty good sale going on at Barnes & Noble that I wanted to take advantage of. Over President's Day weekend, they had 50% uh, off on all kids' Blu-rays and DVDs, which included um, the Disney stuff. Uh, so I decided to pick up two. That One that is going back in the vault soon, I know it is, just because... It was released with so little fanfare, and, you know, it's just one of those titles that you would think they would put it right back in the vault for some stupid reason. But yes, that would be Dumbo on Blu-ray. I wanted to get the slipcovers. They didn't have the slipcovers. Uh, 20 bucks. I think you can find it, I guess, for less than that on Amazon, but I was just like, all right, I see it in the store right now, brand new for $20. I'm getting it. You know? Um, it's pretty nice. Um, I got it mainly because I love Dumbo and because my nephew loves Dumbo. Uh, I remember the first time we showed it to him, he just could not peel his eyes off of the freaking screen. Um, of course it is a 64 minute movie, uh, which is, it's hard to plunk down $20 for a 64 minute movie, but I mean, give it a few months, put this back in the vault and it'll be like 50 freaking bucks. They also had Alice in Wonderland, which I want to get that one too. Not the new one, the old one. But I don't know. I wanted this one more. Um, and of course, the next one is probably one of my favorite Disney movies of all time, which of course is the reason that I got it. Lady and the Tramp. I don't care what Dog Walker or anyone else says. This is a freaking Disney classic. This is one of the greats. You know, they based uh, a lot of the work done in this uh, film. Uh, they based later movies like Oliver and Company off of something like this, off of the animation style in this. So, don't give you that. The animation didn't feel like it was as, you know, um, professionally well done kind of crap. Um, it was an art style. It was a different type of art style. You're going to have a Fit because of a different type of art style give me a freaking break it is freaking brilliant and you know it is uh, speaking of which um, one of the things I noticed when I opened these up was that there's a uh, at least for one of them there was a, an ad for the blu-ray that's going to be coming out over the summer for Disney which is going to be the rescuers and rescuers down under Blu-ray, and the second I saw that, I was pumped. I'm going to have to save some money for that, too, because I love The Rescuers. Even though the animation style was different and they did everything... It was the 70s, man! They did everything different in every type of movie in the 70s. That's what made the 70s so freaking awesome for movies. The 70s made movies what they are today. You can't look at something like The Rescuers and say, This sucks. You suck! Sir! But no, I digress. Lady and the Tramp. Excellent movie. Like, the freaking romance movie. Um, I don't even like romance movies, and I love this movie. I don't know what it is about it. It's, it's good for, you know, winter, Christmas, anything thing like that. And the other reason, of course, that I got it was because um, my nieces... Uh, I don't think my nephew likes it, but I know my nieces love this. At first, they weren't really into it, but then they watched it a few times, and now, like, they can't stop requesting, 
Did you bring the Poppy movie? So, yeah. Now I can bring the Poppy movie. <laughs> or they can come here and watch the Poppy movie. And then afterwards, uh, Garrett can watch Dumbo. You know? So, I don't feel like it was wasted money at all. I just feel like it was a bit more than I would have wanted to pay for it. But, I mean, if you look at the new prices on Amazon right now, uh, this one's going for 25 bucks. I got it for 20 at Barnes and fucking Noble. How many people could say that? Mm -hmm. The original price at Barnes and Noble is there is 40 bucks. It's 40 bucks, 39.99. Uh, half off of that, 20 bucks. At Barnes and Noble, you can't beat that. I mean, I guess you can if you have the membership card. It would have been 18 bucks. Which would have really good, but I mean, I didn't want to pay $25 for a membership card that I'm probably not going to get much use out of. Dumbo, of course, I think it's going for about 22 to 25 or something like that new on Amazon, maybe even 20 But, um, yeah, I saw it there with this and I was like, you know what, I'm just going to go for it. Whatever. I had recently come into a little bit more cash again, so I was like, whatever, I'm going to get both. And I don't regret a goddamn thing. Um, in fact, I might just, I'm going to pop one of these in tonight and watch them. I'm gonna watch, I haven't watched them yet, but uh, I'm going to pop one in and watch it. Uh, from what I understand, the Dumbo uh, transfer is actually a lot better than the uh, Lady and the Tramp transfer. Um and the Lady and the Tramp transfer, from what I saw at least, was not really as good as other Disney Blu-rays, which is interesting. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll decide for myself after watching it. But um, from what I saw from the screenshots, it just did not look up to their you know standards. But I don't know for sure. Um, but what I found interesting is that Lady and the Tramp gets the official Diamond Edition moniker from Disney. Dumbo just gets 70th anniversary edition. Dumbo isn't apparently very special to Disney. And uh, let's be fair, Dumbo is pretty racially um, unkind. <laughs> I mean, if you don't think that the crows are a little bit racist with the whole Jim Crow law thing and their jive talk and all of that, then consider the song that plays, like, I think it's like five or ten minutes into the movie where uh, they've got, it, you know, the rain and the thunder and everything and the uh, workers are doing their work and they're talking about, honestly, if, if you listen to the lyrics of that song, it's pretty freaking racist. I mean, a lot of people miss out on that particular song, on that particular in this particular movie, they go straight to the crows for racist moments, but it's like, no. It comes in way before that, man. <laughs> uh, not too many racist moments in Lady and the Tramp, but, uh, well, there is the Siamese cats, and, well, Asian stereotypes galore there. But mostly it's just, you know, the whole uh, stereotypical... Uh, Western male female relationship going on there, the whole 50s um, wife and husband relationship that's just so perfect or whatever, you know. Um, obviously, a little suspect compared to what we actually know of that time period and stuff like that, but um, I still like it. I still consider it one of the greats. And yeah, um, can't wait to check these out. I'm glad I picked them up. Dumbo and Lady and the Tramp on Blu-ray. <sighs> That's all for today. Thanks for watching. Catch you later. Peace.